to you. Okay, but it's time to check out Meredith's place that we were talking about earlier. It's bold, it's kid friendly, and it's, it's fantastic. all on B eBay. On eBay, watch and it. all on eBay. Hi, Stephen and Chris. Welcome to my home. Come on in. We'll caution you. It's not every day we let a film crew in here, and we're a little nervous. Foyers are one of my favorite spaces to decorate. Um, you can have creative license, you can make a huge statement because it's a transitional space. Now this foyer is challenging because it's not only your landing spot, but it's completely open to the dining room. So the challenge for me was to make the space feel like its own separate space, not completely part of the dining room, but at the same time it still had to work together. The unifying part was this wallpaper. It's bold. The vibe here is Key West meets Kate Spade. To balance out the wallpaper, we went with this beautiful oversized mirror. It's got faux hide, lots of sparkle and a polished silver, but we've also incorporated satin brass. I love to mix metals. We've added in wonderful accessories um, that I love because it's really pretty and it makes a nice statement, but they're also practical and functional. I've got stools in here, which again, practical, a nice place to sit down. We have a two-year-old, so it's a great spot to, for us to pull out, put them on there, change his shoes, and then it tucks back in. The most remarkable thing about our living room is that it's only nine feet wide. This presented a huge challenge when we were trying to find furniture for it because every sofa that we would find was too deep. So what I did was I went on eBay and I found this federal style sofa. I had it sprayed, reupholstered, and I think all in it was under $1,000 to do this sofa, which was perfect. I also found these chairs on eBay. They're vintage Vladimir Kagan chairs, um, truly a find. Uh, we had them reupholstered into this beautiful wool from Thread Count. It's totally durable, really, really great. For our console table, for our TV, we had it slip covered. Um, it's great to hide the mess, and it also keeps little fingers out of DVD players and other electronic equipment. The most remarkable thing about this space is the amount of pattern and color that we have in here. The key factor to using this much pattern in a room is to make sure that all of the grounds are consistent. And in our case, we've gone with a really light background. Um, much easier to work with, ties into the wall color, and it helps keep the space feeling open and, and larger because it sort of pushes back. Um, the drapery, ironically, was the last thing chosen for this room. The blue in it is picked up in the chairs, it's picked up again in the carpet, but it really did begin with these pillows. This is sort of our jumping off point. It has a little bit of the indigo in it, it has a beautiful coral and a pomegranate, and the gray. This is actually the most inexpensive art there is. It's fabric that I got, basically it was like a remnant. Um, I, stapled it over a canvas and it's become the perfect piece of art in here. But the repetition and the size of the font um, really balances out the other patterns in the room. And um, it's just a fun, vibrant room and, um, and it's great for a, a small family. Everyone, please say hello to the very talented Meredith. Welcome to the show. Welcome, sweetheart. You have fabulous style. That's great. I and really, you're really enjoying that bold. You have that bold. Like even what you're wearing, you know, you, you seem to love the bold. Well, I, I think it has to match your um, your personality. Absolutely. I, I have a bit of personality. <laughs> <laughs> My pattern has to offset it. Absolutely. <laughs> and let's quickly just talk about. So a lot of the uh, pieces were purchased on eBay, which Absolutely. is fantastic. Yeah, and even my my uh, entry table my mom made it oh, really wow. okay now so That's ebay cool. I, we're going to go uh, uh, we're going to see another piece of tape and then we'll talk about the ebay later but i love that fact that you talked about um you love to decorate the entryway that's one of your favorite spaces to decorate in a house well you walk into someone's house whether it's a condo or a house and you that's the first chance to make a statement right, right? right. so it's the personal brand who, who lives here i think that's such a great yeah, way that yeah. you use yeah. it's a term the, the brand because you know when you have a business you're you know you become a brand that's but your house is a bit of your brand isn't it it's totally. an expression of who you yeah. are yeah and so you can be more more dramatic you can be more daring there because it's a transition space people kind of go into the next space but you want to make that sort of wow yeah yeah, yeah. And with my wallpaper that's what everybody says when they walk in they wow. make a comment wow. and yeah. you want people to do that right you don't want to come in and kind of go mm, this is okay yeah, yeah. yeah. you want lovely. wow this is quaint yeah <laughs> and also in there you you like uh, putting um persian rugs in the front entry which i totally agree with yes. i think it's fantastic I, I actually happened upon it by accident because a client had one and i walked in from her construction site into this persian carpet with muddy boots and I was like, oh, I'm so, and she's like, no, 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 just leave it. Don't worry about it. The mud will dry and then it's, it vacuums up. That's and there's so much pattern, never shows, never shows never the dirt. Shows. No, never salt, yeah. stains, everything. It's perfect. Perfect. Very true. All right, we're going to take a quick break and we come back. We're going to go through some of those eBay tips and we're also going to take a tour of Meredith's kitchen. So that's after the break. I want to hear all about the eBay stuff. <laughs> I, I want to know how to do it. Hey, welcome back to everybody. We're back with 
with uh, two designer Meredith, uh, and now we're going to check out her dining area and kitchen. Watch this, everybody. Okay. As you recall, when you walk into our house, the dining room is immediately adjacent to the foyer. Now that meant that this dining table became the catch-all for mail, coffee cups, bags, you name it. Everything gets dumped on here. Now my trick to making that not be the case is to actually use this tablecloth. People seem to be afraid to pile things on top of the tablecloth and I'm using that to my advantage. Um, we went with a batik tablecloth, and almost like a little polka dot, and it balances some of the other patterns in the living room out really nicely. We've paired it with family-friendly fabrics on the chairs with a little bit of silk on the back. We opted for a crystal chandelier in here because it's so much in the middle of the room, I didn't want to you know, block your sight lines between the kitchen and the living room, and I really do like the openness it creates. Now again, like the living room, we've really only got about nine feet of usable space, so we had to be really creative when it came to coming up with a buffet because we desperately need the storage. So what we did was we had upper cabinets hung on the wall. I had a countertop made and gables for the side to sort of hide some of the ugly, um, unsightly bits. And it creates this really, really functional and stylish looking buffet that's nice sort of modern touch. And we've got our Asian vases on top, which are just fun and another way to sort of add that blue back into the space. Um, we've opted for an art wall and we've mixed family photography, artwork, and we've used silver and gold frames, color and black and white. Um, to really give it sort of this warm, family-friendly feel. This is our kitchen. It was a two-week renovation. Yes, from start to finish, two weeks. I know, unheard of, but I will say that we did spend a year planning it. The idea was to keep it light and bright. You know, it's a small, dark space normally, and extending cabinets to full height, adding crown, and keeping everything white, and minimizing the contrast, it really does feel much bigger. We've also gone with open shelving above the sink so that we have plates and dishes readily accessible. And my husband being a door opener versus a door closer, uh, we've left spices and oils open for display so that they're right at his fingertips and I don't have to worry about cracking my head on the door. For our countertops, we decided to go with marble. I know a lot of people don't think marble is good for a kitchen. I don't agree with it. Um, I call the stains patina. Um, though I will say it is a bit soft and, and my husband did drop something right here and it is kind of driving me crazy, but I'm gonna get over it. We've used a marble backsplash as well and where we could, we took the uh, tile right up to the ceiling. Again, that really helps to add that feeling of a more spacious kitchen and it's just pretty to look at. The floor that we went with in here is actually a four bow floor. It's commercial grade floor. It has a lot of give to it and it's really spongy. It's also extremely forgiving in terms of spills. And let me tell you, with a two year old and a messy husband who cooks, there's a lot of spills. The thing I love most about this kitchen now is how it integrates with the rest of the house. We can be entertaining, we can spend time here together as a family, and despite it being sort of a small enclosed room, it really is the heart of the home. Well, thanks Stephen and Chris for coming by. I'm glad you got to see the space. I'm not as nervous now about sharing it with you. So next time you come by, um, we'll test out some of that wine. Lovely, lovely, lovely. There's lovely. some great ideas in there. I especially love the uh, back wall that's highlighted with the, uh, the, the tiles. The tile. And there, what are those tiles done in? It's uh, oriental white marble. Beautiful. And, and right, right to, to the, the ceiling. ceiling. Right to the ceiling, Fantastic. Yeah. And that's, that's the highlight sheen, wall, which right? Which is nice. It does. And in the, taking down that cabinet, like much the way yours is, yeah. it really opens up the space as opposed to walking in and having this cabinet protruding out and dark under the sink. Teresa, right. did you notice that? Where You know what I liked and I think might work in your space as well? Taking down some of your cabinets, maybe one or two, or that cabinet that's suspended. That and maybe if you, if you want to do that, do some shelves in there and some really beautiful dishes that you don't use ever. Yeah. And they're, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, they look great. Yeah. Something like that would really open up your space because it it's very similar. So it I think that would work in your from space. Yeah. Kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, let's talk let's eBay. Let's talk about tips. eBay because you've got some great tips yes. there. And the first one is all about the search. It is. I mean, when you're putting your search names in, you have to sort of look. They often now suggest different, um, you know, related searches. Right. But, you know, Hollywood Regency, mid century modern. I look for things like pair of lamps, pair of chairs. Um, if you're looking for faux bamboo, don't put too much in because it, it really narrows, narrows the search it, right. down. Oh, it does. Yeah. It does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So you just want to throw these little catch-all phrases and then you start to read what people are describing their items as and you start to pick up on that and you're like, okay, well, I'm looking for a vintage tool chandelier. Okay. And I, I, my chandeliers, I literally put in faux bamboo. And that's oh, what's going to And then you just have to look at because you've got great 
favorite pieces. The next one here is um, ask the right questions. Um, so that basically is like, do, you, do they have a store online? Do they have a store online? Um, are they willing to ship to Canada? There are a lot of people that will only say U.S. Um, shipping only. Okay. That doesn't stop me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I try to entice them. Right, right. How much do you want? I yeah, want yeah. it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and most people are really, you know, friendly about it, and, and very few people do say no. Right. Um, but, you know, you have to, if they have a store, then they're a little more versed. Yeah. Um, and then they might give you another website that you can go to and look at what they actually have, okay. you know, in stock, which is great. Great. Right. Now, one of your tips that you have, it's, it's, it's sniper. Is that a term? <laughs> I've never heard of sniper. You can use an yeah. eBay sniper, and this is okay. this is really great. Now, especially is that a with a gun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hired hand for sure. Right. Absolutely. Right, right. Um, but it worked for good, not for evil. Yeah. Um, what you do is you can register um, with a sniper, and you put in your maximum bid for that item. And so if you want to say this mug, uh, you know, I don't want to pay more than $2 for it. Yeah. Um, you put that in and it will watch your, your different sales, your different auctions. And then at the very last minute, it will go in to the next highest bid. So if the, if the bid was only at 50 cents, yeah. it's going to go to 55 cents or, oh. you know, 60 cents. And it'll okay. monitor it for you. So, so it'll yeah. shoot in the bid. You don't yeah. have to stay there and babysit it. Not it. at all. It takes and the I stress off. Everything. And you probably don't go over right. the amount you want to spend because you're not all wound up exactly. and like, yeah, exactly. I have to have yeah. it. It also works for designer purses. Oh, I oh. see designer bags, <laughs> girls. Designer handbags. Ladies, <laughs> yeah. A little Louis Vuitton, a little Chanel, a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us today. Really great job. All right, Stephen, what's coming up next? We come back. Peggy is here with nutritionist approved guilt free goodies. I thought your space was fabulous. I really did. A beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I love the brightness. It's just beautiful.